Ugh. Hey guys, so I have a collective haul. This is over several weeks. Um, and I'm um, just going to go right into it. So what, I got a, some earrings at Forever 21. And they're just a cute little set of pearl, diamond, kind of gold earrings. I think they're super cute. They were for all three. They were only three dollars and eighty cents. I love the fact that um, Forever Twenty One earrings or jewelry in general is so cheap. So I had some of those, and then from Target I got some um, of the Jergens Natural Grow Glow Daily Moisturizer. It fully has a self-tanner in it, and I use it on my legs. So my arms are just, like, naturally darker than my legs, which is a little weird. So last year for um, summer, I bought the light to medium, and it didn't get dark enough. So I am bought the medium to tan. So I'm going to use the light to medium. I have still, like, half a bottle left. Um until it doesn't start, you know, getting any darker. And then I'm going to switch to this one. So hopefully it works well. So let's see. At Ulta, I bought the Macadamia um, Natural Oils Deep Repair Mask. And I know that I said that I really, really loved um, the L'Oreal deep conditioner, the sulfate-free one. But it was almost out, and I've heard such great reviews about this that I wanted to try it. I wanted to get the little one, but every time I walk into Ulta, it's gone. So I had to get the 8 ounce instead of the 1 ounce. But, or sorry, it's 8.5 ounces, so it's even bigger than I thought. And my L'Oreal one is only, I think, 5 ounces, and it's $10, <clears throat> whereas this is 8.5, and, and it's 30 Yes, it's more expensive, but I've used it once so far, and I love it. It made my hair so soft, and it was so light. It was ridiculous. It was just like, I have really fine hair, so it was just light. It wasn't weighed down at all. It was just really, really nice. Also from that line, I got the Healing Oil Spray. This one I got the small size. It's two ounces. Um, and what I, how I use this is on the days that I wash my hair and not condition it only, but wash and condition, I put my hair up in a towel and then let it, you know, some of the moisture get out of my hair. And then I flip my hair upside down and I spray a little bit all over the end, so basically kind of like from here down, and then I scrunch it into my hair, kind of work it in, you know, like that, and then I put it back up in my towel to let it dry a little longer, and it seems to help my ends really well. They, they're not as dry as they usually get, which is really, really nice. Um, over the weekend, I went down to see my friend in San Diego, and we kind of did like a girls' night where we did um, <clears throat> facials and did our nails and all this kind of stuff. So I picked up some nail polish from um, CVS. I think it was CVS. One of those drugstores, I can't remember. And I got the Sally Hansen Instant Dry. This color is so freaking bright. Like, I was going to, I bought this color, um, for my nails. I don't have anything on right now. Um, and it's called Snappy Sorbet. When you put it on, it's even brighter than it is right here. Like, I don't know if the camera's showing up. But it is, like, neon. And so, I put it on my toes because I figured that's a lot better. I did, up until today, have... This one, the Sally Hansen Instant Dry in Lively Lilac. I think this is such a pretty color. So spring-like. And I know that, like, the pastel -y colors are, like, in right now. But I really, really like this. 
and it was they were buy one get one free or no buy one get one fifty percent off so that was nice and then for a top coat because I mine had gotten all gross um I thought this was cool because I like the idea of gel nails because they last longer but they're so expensive and then it's so hard to like okay well I've had them for a week or two weeks. You know, you you want you end up getting stuck with a color for a really long time. So, I thought this was interesting. It's also Sally Hansen, and it is the Hard as Nails, Hard as Wraps. It's got acrylic gel and nylon in it, and it's just a clear um, bottle. It says you can just put it on clear and just have that, you know, gel clear over your nails, or... You can um, put it as your top coat. I really like it. It's really, really nice. I tried it as a base coat. Don't do that. It doesn't work. It won't let your other nail polish set. So use it only on its own or as a um, top coat. The next thing I got was I ordered from Sephora because Ebate is having their... Um, 12% right now for their, they're having some like major things, um, and I love EB. So I ordered online, and I never order Sephora online because I have like two of them right here, so it seems silly, but I got free shipping. And I wanted to order something for my friend for her birthday, and I could only order it online because it was limited edition, so that was another incentive. But I'm not going to show you what I got her because her birthday is not until... Um, June 12th, so she's going to have to wait, and um, I don't want to spoil the surprise for her. So what I did get was this Stila, um, one of these little beach palettes, and this is beach palette number one, and it has a cute little mirror, and then it has four eyeshadows. Then you also have a cheek color. And a bronzing powder. I think the bronzing powder is kind of pretty. It's really light, though. So I don't know if it's really a bronzer. And there's the, um, the blush. And I like it because you could just throw this in your beach bag. And then it's got your little mirror and everything. And it even has how to do, the, like, how they recommend you do the makeup which I think is kind of cool. So I got that. And then the main thing I got, and I have pictures of it in the box so that you guys can see it and not all torn up, but I got the Sephora Favorite Safety, Sun Safety Kit. And I thought it was kind of a cool idea because, I mean, I live at the beach, so I'm out in the sun during the summer and all year round pretty much. And so I thought... It'd be kind of cool to try some new products that they recommend, you know, before I always has their favorites. And one of the things that it came with was a beach tote, which I will probably be using. I think it's really cute. And it says, Little Miss SPF Sephora. And I put all the stuff I have I got. Okay. So it came with a little pocket guide of um, from the skin foundation on how to like you know for skin cancer prevention, which is kind of cool. Um, it came with Ho Philosophy's Hope, and it's the oil-free SPF 30. So I think that's going to be really good. It's a daily moisturizer, so 30 is much better than 15. Um, and you should do it the highest SPF you can during the summer months. Um, here's a, most of these are, a lot of these are moisturizers, but this is DDF, which I've actually never heard of, and it's Mattifying Oil Control UV Moisturizer and SPF 30. 
And these are all the, you know, trial sample sizes. I'm sure you guys under know how the um, Sephora favorites things go. And then I got the Smashbox Photo Finish, which is actually something I've really, really wanted to try. And so this is one of the main reasons I got this. Um, and it is the UVA, UVB, SPF 15. And then I got, th this one's awesome. Talk about lots of um, SPF. This is the Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protection for Face and Body. Very water resistant sunscreen, SPF 60. This is major. This is like crazy. So... I'm excited to try that, too. Um, then, I'm just going to go through all the moisturizers first, I guess. Is the Murad Essential C Day Moisture SPF 30. And this is so... This is the Fascia... Oil-free daily hydration, SPF 30, or SPF 15, sorry. I'm going to have a lot of moisturizers to try out, guys. Um, I'll let you know which ones I like the best. And then this one's Peter Thomas Roth Max Sheer All Defense Moisture Defense Lotion. Yeah. And this is an SPF 30, and it says that it is anti-aging, lasting hydration. So, that's good. And then, on the SPF kick, I have Ole Henriksen. I have no idea. And it's Fresh Lips SPF 15 because you want to make sure that not only is your skin, um, your face skin and your body skin protected from the sun, but your lips can get burnt also. And it is Protects, hydrates, and plumps with sunscreen and camphor. I love plumping stuff, but not like the stinging stuff. Like right now I have on um, the Bare Essentials Buxom in Trixie, and these are my favorite plumpers. And I did have tried this one, and it feels like that. So I think this will definitely be going in my beach bag. Then it came with... Um, Bare Minerals, Mineral Veil SPF 25, and it's in the original, and it came with a little brush, too, to applicator to go with it. Um, I have some of this, like a big version of this already, and I can't use the brushes because I guess I'm allergic to goat hair. So this is going to go in a little box I have that's going of when I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to give away, you know, some prizes. So help me get up there if you want to see what there is. Next is Dr. T's Super Goop Sunscreen Screen Wipe SPF 30. So I guess it, it feels like it's just like a towel. And so you're supposed to just, it says, tear open pouch, unfold towelette, and gently wipe over face and body. So, for continuous water resistance, reapply after 40 minutes. Pretty cool. So, we'll see how that works. And then this is the other thing that I was really, really excited about. Oh, oh speaking of super goop, sorry. There's also another one. It is the face and body lotion. Also SPF 30. So, I have a wipe and then, like, a lotion. But this is another thing I was really excited to try out um, when I saw this was in here. And it is the Tan Towel. Look Good Naked. Self Tan Towelette. So all you do is you take the towel and you apply it to your skin and just you wipe it over in circular motion. Um, so I think that's kind of cool if it works, you know easy. It says it doesn't streak. It says it's for face and body, so we'll see how that goes. And since I did order from Sephora, I did get my three free um, samples. And the samples I chose were two perfumes, and it was the DKNY Be Delicious. I love this one. 
And then the Prada, um, they um, ombre. I don't speak French, so I don't know, but it's in here. And then Girl Meets Pearl by Benefit. And it is supposed to be a golden liquid, pink liquid pearl for face. So I'm, I'm assuming that it's kind of like a highlighter. So we'll see how that works. So I hope you liked my haul. If you want to see more, make sure that you subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.